So today I'd like to talk about advice. So I try really hard not to give direct advice to somebody. Um, I rather talk about how things have worked for me or how things haven't worked for me, mistakes that I've made, outcomes of stuff when I choose to do it the way that I choose to do it. So um, I'm not really a fan of you should, you must, you need to. Um, and I'm much more a fan of, well, when I did that, this is what happens. Or when I do this, this is what generally happens um, or whatever. But today got me thinking about the least helpful advice that I've been given. I think there's three uh, main ones that come up now and then. And, uh, and yeah, you know, people are well-meaning, of course, when they deliver it, but I feel like they're not very helpful things. Number one is, and I'd love to know what yours are too, and whether you think that I'm way off the mark here or not, but number one for me is, um, everything happens for a reason. I just, I just flat out don't think that's true. I think that uh, there's lots of things that happen without reason, um, without being part of some big plan. And I feel like when people say that, they are confronted with a situation they don't understand or they don't want to feel things and they don't want the other person to feel bad. And, and somehow the other person is supposed to feel less bad if they think whatever terrible thing that's happened to them is part of some fucking divine plan or, or something. And I just, yeah, I just don't think that's true. You know, what's, everything happens for a reason. What's the reason for children, babies getting cancer? What's the reason for tens of thousands of Indonesians killed by tsunami? Like, really? I just, yeah, I just, I, I find that really unhelpful, right? Um, yeah. Secondly, um, I think when people say, oh, you know, um, be strong, um, what I, what I think they're really saying is uh, don't cry, don't get upset, don't feel anything because if you feel something, then I might have to feel it and I don't, definitely don't want to feel it. Um, and so I feel like be strong is uh, kind of a bit of a cover up for, you know, um, don't don't show emotion, don't feel emotion. The other problem I have with be strong is that the opposite of that, you know, the, the inference to me is if I actually do feel something or start to be upset or whatever, then the inference is that's not being strong, which is you're being weak. You're being weak to feel that. You're being weak to... Um, get choked up or, or, or be upset or be distracted by or grieve or whatever. And I just think that is um, unhelpful. And then the third one, which is a, I hear it all the time, all the time in the entrepreneurial and small business startup world is fake it till you make it. Um, I think that is spectacularly bad advice for a lot of reasons. Number one, and sort of the main reason, I, I think for me, again, this is for me, um, I have to face things, not fake them. I, I have to face it and see if I'm good enough, see if I'm smart enough, if I've learnt enough, if I'm um, empathetic enough or, or, or whatever. I just don't want to just barge on through pretending that I know everything about something if I know fuck all about it. Like there's that... To me, fake it till you make it means just take whatever job is given to you and go and do it and you'll work it out along the way. And that's true, maybe. And maybe that's true and maybe that's sound advice in some parts of, of your career building stuff. But I've, I, I don't agree with it generally. I think um, it's much better to put your hand up and say, you know what, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't know what you want from me. I, I don't know who you're looking for or who you want me to be.